Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. This is Giselle and in this video I want to show you how to start an IV. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Okay, so let's get into the video and now I'm gonna show you what supplies we are gonna use. So I just want to mention that I forgot to tell you about or show you about the dressing in the supplies. So now I'm done in gloves and I previously washed my hands. And then we're gonna get our supplies ready. So the first thing I want to do is uh, make sure that I prime, prime the extension tubing. For that, I'm gonna use the normal saline and I'm gonna run it through the tubing. As you can see. So the next step is I always take a piece of tape and a gauze and keep it uh, close to me. So in case I don't get that vein or I miss it, I have a gas uh, ready to put pressure and another thing is that I always try uh, to check that the needle it's uh, working good because sometimes they don't so I try to uh, slide it and make sure that it works and here is the dressing I just want to show you that I have it so as you can see i'm gonna try to do the iv on myself so this is gonna get real <laughs> i'm putting now the tourniquet in place And some steps that you have to follow is always verify the physician order, identify your patient with two identifiers, the full name and date of birth, and explain the procedure to your patient. Position the patient in reclining or a semi forward position and start looking for a good vein. Feel, feel those veins. So as you can see, I have a good vein on my hand. I'm making a fist so I can um, get the vein straight. One thing that you can do is always uh, pull that skin uh, down so you can get uh, those rolling veins on place and they don't roll. So now I'm... Um, doing the veiny puncture I'm looking for that flush I just got the flush I can see the blood coming I'm trying now to advance the catheter and I'm okay I'm successful I put the needle in safety Put the safety and now i'm gonna try to get the extension to it. it's very difficult because with one hand it's almost impossible and now as you can see i'm trying to flush it but before i'm gonna try to get some blood out and make sure that i'm in the vein I see the blood coming out and you can see it too. <laughs> if that happens, it's okay. You just have to try to clean it and get that IV in place and put the dressing as soon as possible. 
so that we won't go out. Remember, always use one needle per attempt and maximum two attempts. Now uh, we just have to secure the catheter. So the last step is get a Sharpie and put the date, the time, your initials and in this case uh, I use a 22 gauge because um, my vein is a little thin and you have to be very careful and use the right needle for the right vein. So I'm very happy. I think I did a good job. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to take the IV out. So for that, we're gonna need alcohol swabs, we're gonna need a steady uh, gauze, two by two or four by four, clean gloves. So if the IV dressing is not coming out easy, you can use alcohol swabs to to help you and after you take the IV out you put pressure for two to three minutes and if the patient is in anticoagulant you uh, put pressure for five or ten minutes we clean with alcohol swabs and then we put a bandage I'm not bleeding at all that's good we put this in the sharp container and we place a bandage. Okay, so now I get I got a little excited and I wanna do something extra for you guys. So I hope this helped you. I'm gonna show you how I do a vein puncture because before I became a nurse I was a nursing assistant at the hospital for about two years and I used to draw blood a lot so that's why I decided to add this little part to the video you always get your supplies and check uh, the order and see uh, what tubings you're gonna need get the right tubing explain the procedure to the to your patient wash your hands put gloves and place the tourniquet clean with alcohol swab and let it dry and get ready after you find that vein and this side is a very good side to uh, look for a vein. Always try to keep the arm straight. As you can see I got the vein, the blood is coming pretty fast. Always uh, check very careful the tubing or four or five times. Get all the blood that you need and release the tourniquet. Get the gauze, put pressure. And I this butterfly needles have a safety pin that you can just press and the needle is gonna go in. So finally assess your patient and make sure that it's not bleeding and place a bandage. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.